Join the Classic Game Room community to get your questions answered on Thursday CGR Q&A. The following review has been approved by Lord Garnet and the best of Classic Game Room. Welcome to Drawing with Lord Carnage, where today I am drawing Lord Carnage. This is one of the custom DVD slash Blu-ray cases for the Best of Classic Game Room that went with the Kickstarter. And uh, this particular case features Lord Carnage, Jesus the Cooked Up Chicken, and Space Gar. And um, you can just see the, the rough pencil lines there in the background, and I'm inking it now. I'm doing a bunch of these. And since I've been drawing digital for so long now, for the last couple months, working on Ethel the Cyborg Ninja, I have gotten very used to just clicking and filling black areas, which you cannot do with pen and ink. Nothing here will click. And also, I do not have an undo button. There's no history like there is in photo, uh, Photoshop, so. That means I have to be very careful. But this is an actual pen and ink drawing here for the custom Blu-ray case. So it'll be artwork here, and then I'm gonna write something over here, personalize it. Put the title and personalize it over here. So, the best of classic game room. I'm doing a space scene here, as you can see. And I, I want to just put the put the black in for the space. Well, normally it would just be a click. And now I have to actually go in with a marker and physically make the space with black ink. This is this is so 17th century. Should be doing this by candlelight, listening to disco. That actually sounds pretty awesome. I could go for that. Here's the one with Jesus the coked up chicken parading through a field of mushrooms and flowers, holding a giant mug of beer while he's clearly drunk, which is what you would expect from Jesus. And I'm, I'm writing the best of classic game room on here. It is, it's tricky making a, uh, a drawing that's going to go to a, to, a, uh, to a viewer, custom drawing, who paid for this. And they're not cheap, and I, I really want them to have a nice piece of artwork, there's no undo button. And when you do digital for so long, you just get used to that undo button. So I'm, you notice I'm, I'm not inking all the way up to my lines um, with the marker. Since the marker bleeds a little bit, I uh, tend to just go up close to my lines, and you can see that in the letters here where I've used my pen, my rapidograph, to go, to go right up to the edge of the letters, and then I use the marker in the wide spaces. I, just, I don't want to mess up. I don't want to go have to grab uh, any white out. And I, I wouldn't use white out on a job like this anyway. If I screw up, and I did screw up over here. I'll show you one where I messed up. This mushroom. I messed up. But I'm going to... Uh, when I color the mushroom in, I'm going to uh, fix that. So there is actually a screw up in that drawing. And since I have no undo button in real life, oh man, if I had an undo button in real life, oh, so I'm using a paper towel over here on one side so that my hand doesn't accidentally pick up some ink and smear it over the artwork. An extra layer of protection. Here, as you can see, the black is starting to uh, fill in the whole space scene here. Bit by bit. Not that this is terribly difficult once it's been framed out. It's just a bit time-consuming. because I don't want to let any marker strokes go into the um, main design or the main characters. So... So I keep my marker well away from them and block out some stars so they're spaced out nicely. Jesus the coked up chicken! And the big guy, side by side. Drinking beer, slaying enemies. That's what they do. I have to be really careful. 
I have no history section, which is like the undo key in Photoshop. I can't just go back and say, yeah, you know what, I'm just going to clean that up. Nah, I don't like that. I'll do it again. Nope. When I put down a line here with pen and ink, I am committed. Here's how it's coming along. The best of classic game room custom DVD package with edit station one and the intergalactic space arcade. And it takes some time here to finish the detail work, which isn't terribly exciting, but when this is done, then I'm going to do a final sweep on eraser marks, any touch-ups, and then uh, personalize it, and that's it. Out it goes. To one lucky, or unlucky, depending on how you look at it, viewer. I'm going to let this guy dry for a little bit, and then I'm going to take out the pencils with an eraser to do the final cleanup, but... Here we have Jesus, Space Car, and the Mighty Lord Carnage on the cover of a custom, the best of classic game room DVD case. Actually, Blu-ray case. This is being cut for Blu-ray. Space Car number one! Here's my final uh, custom DVD case, which features Lord Carnage rocking out with a guitar. And this one's tricky because I don't know anything about guitars. I know I like to listen to guitars. <laughs> Uh, but I don't know how to play a guitar, so I had to do some research on the guitar itself and like how one's fingers would actually play it. And I think I got I think I got it down here. So Lord Carnage can play guitar. I mean, it's Lord Carnage. He can do pretty much anything that's badass. And playing guitar is of course badass. So what do you what do you think Lord Carnage is playing? He's rocking some Van Halen or Led Zeppelin or something. Def Leppard, Scorpions. Maybe he could play all of them at once. Lord Carnage can do that. After he pounds a couple margaritas, of course. Which reminds me, I might have to draw a margarita in the background. Right here, okay. Be like an amplifier back here with a margarita. That's how Lord Carnage rolls. Instead of a cigarette in his guitar, he would have a battle axe. Maybe a different drawing. The Best of Classic Game Room is now on DVD, Blu-ray, and Hyper Laser Vision Album Set.